What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Sarpong. I am super excited for today because we are talking about a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for some time. It is meditation. And so what's really cool is that meditation has actually been around for quite some time. And what's even better is that there is now so much scientific data that is proving the usefulness of meditation. So what is meditation? One thing that you can kind of use to describe meditation is that it's basically getting in touch with yourself. You're basically digging deeper into your subconscious mind, right? I think so many times in our lives, we find ourselves in the passenger seat of our own brains. And it feels like our brain is kind of driving the car, letting our brain go wherever it wants to go, right? And so when we get angry, when we get upset, when we get frustrated, it feels like we don't truly have control over our emotions, over our thoughts, and over our lives. And so meditation is sort of this thing where we can get more in touch with ourselves, we can get more in touch with our, our subconscious mind, and that can kind of allow you to get back into the driver's seat and really control your thoughts, control your mind, control your emotions, and therefore end up controlling your life and your outcome. And so this can be an emotional practice, it could be a spiritual practice, it could be just a body mindfulness practice, it can be whatever you want to make it. But the whole concept is thinking deliberately about something in order to change your physical state, your physiological state, and to help you to become more in touch with who you are as a person. I also posted a blog post about meditation. Uh, so that might be a good place for you to start if you've never meditated before. I suggest just starting small. And the best way to start, in my opinion, is with your breathing. Breathing and meditation goes hand in hand because we know breathing to be something that physiologically helps our body, right? The more deep breathing that we take, the more oxygen that we get into our lungs, the more that that oxygen can be diffused into the pulmonary circulation of your blood system. And that oxygen can actually carry itself throughout different regions of your body. And it can make you feel good because as you're breathing in and taking that oxygen, you're also breathing out that CO2, you're breathing out those wastes. And so your body is just in a good place. Physiologically, your body is at rest, right? Your body feels relaxed. But because you're taking in all these deep breaths as if you were exercising, there's a lot of neurological signals that are going on in your brain that are helping you to become alert even when you're relaxed. And that's the whole essence of meditation is that sort of this give and take, this homeostasis of I'm feeling relaxed, I'm feeling calm, but I'm at my, my, my senses in my brain are heightened. My senses in my brain, I, I feel like I'm, I'm more focused. I feel like I'm more aware of where I am and the space that I'm in and what I'm thinking about. Diaphragmatic breathing is basically breathing with your stomach, actually using your abdominal muscles to take in those deep breaths even when you're at rest, as if you were exercising. But because you're taking in more oxygen, you're also diffusing more of those waste breathing those wastes back out at the same time because there's so much more oxygen that's going into your brain, your brain feels good. So what I love about this is that whenever you're feeling stressed, whenever you're feeling anxious, all you have to do is just focus on your breathing. A lot of times when we get stressed, the one thing, the first thing that goes away is our breathing. The first thing that happens is that you start to breathe in very shallow breaths. And this is important because if you're breathing very shallow breaths, there's not enough oxygen that's going into your body. And so it's just this vicious cycle where you're not breathing as much oxygen and you're already stressed out. And so your brain, because it's not getting enough oxygen either, is going to be even more stressed out and it's going to send a lot of neurological inputs to you and your consciousness of I'm stressed out, I'm anxious, I'm freaking out, I'm angry, I'm frustrated. And, and the vicious cycle is going to continue, right? And so whenever you do feel stressed out, if you can focus right on that breathing and automatically just start taking deep breaths, even if you have to escape the environment or the situation, maybe you're, you're in a, a fight with somebody and you have to just go into the other room and take a couple deep breaths, that will make a difference because physiologically, your body can finally get itself to be in a relaxed position your heart rate can go down, your 
cardiac output can go down, everything, your blood pressure, everything can go back down. But because you're taking in that oxygen, your brain is going to feel great and you're going to be able to think more clearly. It automatically makes you feel like you're more in control of your body, of your mind, of your emotions. And I, and I really honestly believe like that is so key for people, especially in crazy times of stress, to at least feel like they can control who they are as people, right? Even if your environment is going crazy, there's nothing you can do about certain things. You can't, there's just things that you can't control. But if you can at least control who you are as a person, your emotions, that gives you so much security and peace of mind in knowing that, okay, even when there's storms around me, my internal body, my internal consciousness, like I still have power in that. With meditation, if you haven't tried it before, your, your mind is going to drift away. Like it's, it's inevitable. It's, it's almost impossible to concentrate on one thing for a very long period of time. The more that you can be aware of the fact that you're drifting away in your thoughts and bring it back to what you're focusing on is something that is powerful because over time, that drifting away will become less and less and less. And what you'll realize is that you'll actually be able to meditate for longer and longer and longer periods of time. If you don't know where to start focusing on your breathing, then you can start with a thought, you can start with a picture, you can visualize something, you can go into a phrase, you can go into a scripture, you can also chant, right? So you can say a word or a phrase repeatedly over and over and over and over again. But with that, I know that was a, a little bit of a longer video than I usually do, but as you can tell, I'm pretty passionate about this. Science has shown that meditation is a very helpful thing for your body and for your brain. And so I encourage you to give it a try and have fun with it. And so with that, again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care.